Now that I've started to study law, I've started to learn about all the different delegations and that there is room for change in different areas and that I would like to have the ability to show discretion to make certain changes in different aspects of law. But I think the fundamental reason why I chose to start was to have a say. It's the same as voting really, to actually have an opportunity to have a say. I think it's important for all of us. Yeah. I think law gives you the opportunity to do that. Thank you. Rosalind? So I did a bit of it in high school and ended up doing my work experience for Western and Fire Service where I got to have a little more around their legal departments. And I think that's what really sort of piqued my interest because it opened the door, I didn't really know much about it. I could see the procedures. I know me and one of my friends that did it were put through one of the workshops and one of the interviews, which they just spun us in circles. <laughs> So it was nice to see that side of it as well, and um, yeah, it's just, the more you learn, the more my opinion changes. I wanted to go down the crime route, which is everybody always does, and now I'm thinking maybe business is more right. Uh, right, so I stumbled into law a little bit by accident, so I've always liked languages, I know I'm going to be doing languages, and then, but very soon I realised that, well, having a degree in languages is not enough because you can't really make good money with the languages, so I thought, what to do with the uh, topics I was choosing from for my A-level equivalents, which were history and social sciences, and the natural kind of you know, things that come out of that comes out of those would be law. So that's what I did law, and I've been doing it for the past 15 years now. So, yeah. Okay. Um, I studied to choose to, to study laws because there's a in the law system in the world even there's a lot of problems and there's a lot of different types of crime that have different impacts on people based on where they're from, based on how they've been brought up, based on just who they believe they perception of themselves and some people go down the wrong side of the law system and commit crimes or some people social crimes and I feel like we would learn these behaviours of people in society and we, we also kind of go through society and we make mistakes and it's okay to make those mistakes as you can still turn your life around after if you have faced convictions or if you have went down the bad route. I also think the for me choosing law shows me that it's okay that some people do make these mistakes, some people do choose bad decisions and they rehabilitate their lives to change to make a big difference. And by doing that I wanna also also help people understand that you know it doesn't matter where you come from or who you are or anything you've been through you can always override anything in your life and you can always be a better person so i think that's fundamentally why i chose to brilliant answers thank you okay so secondly uh, if i can if i can ask um what place do you feel that law plays in the governmental voting system? And if we can then go on to explain how you feel that that, that law is actually linked to voting. Harry, I could start with you. Okay, I think it plays a fundamental part in the governmental voting system. So, with as little as I do know about voting and the different political parties and what they stand for, what you can infer from the different parties and their word I'm looking for, prerogatives, is that each party has a different prerogative, right? Now, whether or not it's been brought up in talks that people have had with the public, whether or not it be question time or this and that, you can establish from their prerogatives of what type of laws they might be looking to address or change. Now, if it's something that later in life, if their party is at least discussing things that are slightly relevant to your industry, then you can infer from that that they will be changing or looking at certain laws that concern. So, when you're voting you have to one look at your own prerogatives and think all right so if i'm in this particular industry and this particular party is starting to look at it in the laws that surround it then one would be naturally inclined to vote for them because they show a particular inclination to your industry or just your interest as a whole shove industry just your interest um and how it is linked to voting so yeah i think if you have a political party or a political leader that has inclination or shows that he is somewhat of an advocate for yourself, you'd be inclined to vote for him because the problems that you're facing with the law, whatever they may be, or the problems that you have established that there are problems in the law, 
you may feel that they are going to address them. And that's why you vote for them, I think. Thank you. Going with the thought that they'll address your problems with the law, they'll see many reforms that can be made, it comes into the fact that they are your advocate, whatever, they vote on your behalf, so you really have to take a step back and look at all the parties, think which one is going to put my opinion forward, and I think that's really how I feel it links into voting, is your opinion on the law, you then pass that responsibility onto someone else to put forward your ideas. Can anyone remember what it is that the political parties put, put forward in order to um, influence how you vote? The manifesto, the programme. That's the one, well done. Right, uh, so while it plays a crucial law in the voting system, the law plays a crucial role in the, in the voting system because this is what we, this is why we elect the government, don't we? So the idea is that so we live in ever since enlightenment, ever since Montesquieu, we've, uh, we've been talking about you know, the uh, separation of powers, right? Mm -hmm. So we've got the executive, we've got the legislative, we've got the judiciary, right? So the Legislative, right? In this country, in, a, in the in the in the, uh, the UK, it's a, we live in a parliamentary democracy, and we have the parliamentary supremacy. So, obviously, some of the laws are made by the judges, some of the laws are made by the parliament, but obviously, the laws made by the parliament are overriding to those made by the mm -hmm. by the judges. So, uh, basically, parliament, especially the House of Commons, the elected representatives, they always have the upper hand in deciding which direction this country goes to, and. Uh, the way we choose those people that are going to take our country to the next level, it's uh, well, it is very important because it's like the very foundation of our democracy, it's the very foundation of you know, the British society and what, what it should be about, right? So we should participate in what happens to this country in 10, 20, 50 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to add on with that. Um, I feel that law does like, play a really, really important role in the, legal in the voting system and in the legal system.